Greetings, citizens of the Imperium. Today, we're going to destroy the Blood Angels and <laughs> Space Hawk. That's right. I'm a jeans stealer. They steal blue jeans. <laughs> Coming for you, Black Pants Legions, and your black jeans. can see we are set up for suicide mission. I was going to do beachhead, but we are a little short on time today, so just I figured I'd go for one of the shorter missions in the game. Um, so, but uh, hopefully, uh, I think if we enjoy this game, which I think we are going to enjoy it, we're going to come back and play it. Oh, yeah. Future missions, and we'll try to keep a tally on who's actually uh, dominating, but okay, <clears throat> so while establishing a beachhead to defend their boarding torpedoes, the Blood Angels detected a bank of functioning lifeboats aboard one of the ships. It was a priority that these be were rendered inoperable before any gene stealers could use them to exit the space hulk and evade destruction. Though the orbiting strike cruiser had weapons trained on the hulk to eliminate any escaping craft, such fire would disrupt the space marine's operations and was not 100% assured. The large bank of escape pods was controlled by a central release mechanism located in the control chamber, a short distance away. None of the survivor craft were capable of launching until the system override was released and the main controls. Squad, um, who's, is, who's this guy again? What would you name that guy that you have the sword? Oh, um... You said he's a leader, so he'd be Fred, right? Yeah, let's go with okay. Fred. Okay, so, uh, Squad Fred... <laughs> uh, well, what's the, uh, I guess, uh... Um, what would be the squad called? Like, a, um, like Mystery Murder? Yes, let's go with Mystery Machine. <laughs> yeah, Mystery Machine. Okay, the Mystery Squad Mystery Machine um, was tasked with the mission of destroying the controls completely in order to prevent the lifeboats ever launching. The control chamber has several hundred. The control chamber was several hundred meters from the established perimeter, and it was Captain. Um, Raphael, so Captain Raphael is the person who's kind of overseeing the whole mission from the spaceship. Gotcha. So Captain Raphael's expectation that Squad Mystery Machine would suffer heavy, heavy casualties, such as the important, such was the importance of guaranteeing the Gene Stiller infestation. The commander judged uh, containing, sorry, the importance of containing the Gene Stiller information. The commander judged the price was worth paying at this early stage of battle. So there's some fun, fun flavor text. Okay, so for people who. Uh, I've never seen Space Hulk. Um, essentially, there's um, the, in their inner space travel. Uh, if a ship is destroyed or the crew is lost or gone insane, the ships get lost in the void and uh, they kind of crush into each other, creating a giant Space Hulk. And uh, so this Space Hulk is infested by these things called gene stellars. And these blood angels are going to try to make a point of stopping them. So Chris is going to take a squad mystery machine uh, in to try to destroy or uh, launch a flame into the controls room to keep the escape pod from watching. I will be bringing in um, Gene Stillers to try to stop him. I start the game with two, and I'm just going to pull from these piles evenly. So I get to look up how many are on each one, and I get to place them. Okay. I can place them in any of these arrows. Um, so, and then at the start of every, of one of my turns, I also get two more. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place one here, so he's lurking outside. And I'm going to go ahead and place, you know what, actually, let's, okay. Mm -hmm. So this is how I start the game, okay. So then you get to shuffle through and determine, right. um, and I'm not going to look at you because I don't want to accidentally see it. We're using a bag, they say you can put them face down and shuffle them, but a bag, okay, so here's the thing, if you don't like that number... Since you have a sergeant in play, you can put that number back in and redraw it. Draw a new one. So that's up to you. Uh, I think I'll stick with it. Okay. So just so you know, this this counters a couple of things. This keeps track of our rounds, or psych, psychic points, 
And then this also keeps track of the ammunition in your um, the big Gatling gun. I forget uh, what it's called. But yeah, uh, I don't think I have that on no, this. No, you don't have it on this mission. This is a, like, this like, oh, crap, we got to take care of this. Okay, so uh, we're going to start playing as a Squad Mystery Machine tries to stop us. <laughs> so, we, uh, you have your order, so just, just for the people at home, because these might be a little hard to see. Uh, you have your regular, one of your regular bolt gun people uh, up front, a terminal marine with a bolt gun and a power fist, and then you have a chain fist and bolt gun next to him. The chain fist will just let you blow through a door for without rolling dice. Then you have your sergeant with the sword and the gun behind him, and then you have uh, your flamer. Yeah, your heavy flamer, and then another. I say regular, but another regular. Yeah, just a Terminator. <laughs> um, nothing special. So, yep. So uh, your goal is to get to this room, or get where you can shoot a flame in that room. That's gotcha. going to require you opening or shooting that door. Uh, but if you, at any point, once you use the flame in that room, the game is might you win. I win by preventing you from doing that, which means that I either keep you, uh, I kill your flamer. Pretty much if I kill your flamer, I win, or you uh, run out okay. of uses of this. You have six flame shots, but you're not going to lose the game by doing that, you know? <laughs> so, right. Um, okay, uh, so it's your turn. Remember, each of your Marines have four actions. Once you activate a Marine, you have to use all your planned actions before you uh, yeah, move can't. to the next one. Because you move to the next one, yeah. unless you use one of your special actions. Okay, That's yeah. the only time you can go right. out of sequence. So... Uh, which right, guy are you activating first? As if I didn't know. Uh, uh, yeah. So I I cannot jump over, no. correct? Okay, yeah. that's what yeah. I thought. The, so the, he the, has to be the first yep. one to... He, and they, they also figure his block line of sight, too, just so you know. Okay. Now that so. makes sense. Terminator armor is pretty pretty All big. Right. All right. So one action to open the door, correct? Yep. Just slide it to the side so you're not right. breaking the door. Yep. All right. So that's one, two, let's see. Now you still have to move right. straight. Three. But if you get yeah. to, you can either move here, here, or here. Now, if I had a figure here or you had a figure here, you'd be unable to squeeze through there. But right now, as right. it is, you could move there. Okay. Um, the Terminators actually, move more like tanks. I actually think I'll move him there. Okay. And that'll be, let's see, one, two, three. Uh, there'll be three. Well, four, because you open the door. Right. Oh, that's right. You're right. All right. Then, let's see, one, two, three. I can move him here, mm -hmm. correct? Yep. Yep. Okay. Four. Then one, two, three, four. Kinda. And then, yeah, these guys, I'll just, since they're already Just go ahead and move them one at a time, though, just because, like, normally when you move them, just move them one at a time just to make sure. You're, okay. you're right. You're fine. I, I know you didn't do anything, but. Yeah, just because, yeah. you know. Okay. Um, okay. And, um, okay, so uh, you're not putting anybody in Overwatch, which is fine. Yeah, because... Um, I'm not going to be able to get to you this turn. Yeah, I was going to say, because I know that there's, you know, a blip here, a blip there. Yeah. You don't have that much movement. Yep. So, <laughs> we're... Uh, now we're in the gene stealer phase. So, the reinforce phase is where I draw two icons. I can look at them. Okay. So, I'll put one here. And I'll put one here. Uh, so, then I go to what's called the... Um, the, the, the gene stealer's action phase. Okay, so I'm going to go activate these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, also just so you guys know, I told Chris ahead of time, since this is his first time playing, for the first two turns, we're not going to use the stopwatch. But after that, the stopwatch gets used. So, um, so then we're going to go... Wait, let's see, I went one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll go one, two, three, four. I'll just go five. I'm just going to stay there. Um, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, uh, so now we, we're, this would be called the uh, mission status phase. Um, at this point, if there are any markers on the board, we remove them, but there are no markers. So uh, none of us have achieved victory conditions. So now it is your turn. Uh, you are at the um, command phase. So you put this, You well, you flip it over. It's a four. You put that back in the bag. Oh, okay. The reason why you flip it over is because if you use it, 
And if you go over the number, like if you were down to five, you would have lost the guy. Gotcha. So that's just a way of keeping you honest. So again, you draw it and you can choose to throw it back in the bag or you shuffle and draw a new one, but you have to keep your mm. second one. I, so I throw it back if I want to reshuffle? Yes. Okay. Okay, much better. That was a good gamble. Okay, I did. I thought that I kept that for the game. I didn't realize I redid that every yeah. single round. Yep. Okay. Yep. So we are. That's the uh, command phase. Now you are in the Space Marine action phase. That's where you start taking your actions. All right. So I think first thing I'm going to do <clears throat> is come here. So that's one. Mm -hmm. Two. Who's that guy that you're doing that to? Uh, that's just my regular. Yeah, but yeah, well, what's his name? No, um, I forget what line he was in. He what was he the first? He was the second one. No, second. no, he was the first one. He was the first. Was one. The first one. Yeah. Uh, let's go with uh, Shaggy. That's Shaggy. Okay. <laughs> so All right. One two. So that's one two two, and then oh crap! To put them in Overwatch is two action points, mm -hmm. right? Could I use one to open the oh, door? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to open the door. That's three. Yep. That's three, and then I'll spin Four and five. one of these. And is it? And his last action, yep. This? So then it's the green side is on for side. Overwatch. Yep, just put it All next right. to him. I'm going to put him on Overwatch. Yep. Perfect. That way, because then if you open this door, I have line of sight and I can mm -hmm. shoot him. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so then I'm going to take my chainsaw guy. Mm -hmm. Go one, two... And then... Just going to blow that door up. Is that... Uh, I forget. For him? Yeah, that's he can free, just do it for free. Yeah. free action? But it takes, okay. it, well, it takes one action point, but you don't one have to roll dice. Point. Oh, that's right. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of that door. <laughs> okay, so that's that, two, three. Three, and then... Yeah, I'll take one. One step down the hall. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, then I think these guys are just going to follow. So one, two, three... Yeah. One, two, three, then one, two, three. Um, okay. Uh, so that's the end of your turn. Yeah. Um. So you have one guy in Overwatch. Okay. Yeah. So I get to reinforce first of all. So we'll see. Holy okay. cow! They, those gene stars are gonna add up fast. Yes, they do. So we'll put you. You know what? Actually, I want to put you back here. And I will put you here. Okay. Because I was thinking, that's not that far to go. But now I'm starting to see, because each one of those blips, that could be up to how many? Uh, it's between one and three. So there could potentially be a maximum of, you know, three, six, nine, twelve. I'm... <laughs> Okay, reinforce phase. Okay, placing the blips. I'm just making sure that I can bring them in as soon as they come in for the reinforcement phase, because I... Um... Okay, yeah, so lurking. I can choose the lurk. I am currently not really choosing much lurking right now. Um, so I'll just go ahead and get, because I am going to, I, I need to start causing you problems. And so I'm going to move you. I mean, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Because, like, if I reveal the icon before I... Um, uh, let's go to like one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's correct. Okay. If I reveal them, then I can still activate them. If I move a blip, but then some, they get spotted, okay, which means you, you kind of discover them, then that ends my, like, I can't take actions after that. So, okay. Um, so it's like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and reveal. I'm going to move this one. I'm going to go one, two, three, right here. Right, right around now. the corner. Uh, you know what? Well, no, I can't move into your well, line of sight. You know that, won't you have I can't to... move into your line of sight uh, when there are blips. So now I'm going to go take this guy and go one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, because if. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'll go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so then I'm going to reveal this one. It's a three. Of course it is. So. <laughs> Well, use some of these smaller guys just for thematic reasons. So one of them has to go on the square that the thing was on. Gotcha. Um, and then I have to place the rest adjacent, so it's going to go here and here. So I'm going to move this guy forward, because I cannot move this guy here because there's a figure. 
in between that corner. Ah, uh, okay. So I'm going to move this guy forward. One, two, which... Uh, so I don't move him to your line of sight. I open the door so that doesn't count. But now three. So now you get to roll three die. I'm trying to get a six to hit me. Okay. No, it's two dice. I'm sorry. It's two oh, dice. Two. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there's the six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I put these on six as I shouldn't have. Okay, so nothing happened. So your gun didn't jam, which is good. But then, so let's see. That's one, two, three, four. So you get to roll again. Oh, again. Mm -hmm. Now this time you're doing sustained fire. So a five or six. Okay. Oh, oh, your gun jammed. jammed. Hold on. So now I move. Now, do you want to take an action to unjam your gun? Yes. So let's see. I moved one, two, three, four, five, and then six, which is now it's unjammed. But now you can shoot. Okay. Actually, I should have actually moved him, but that's okay. Now, reroll that four. Just reroll if it falls out. Now, see, since your gun jammed, that did disrupt your fire, oh, so okay. you don't get the, the effect. The sustained. Okay. Yeah. So that's six movements. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Uh, you know. I'll go one, two. Yeah, and then I'm going to go boom, boom. Okay, um, that's the end of my turn. So this is, since that's at the end of your okay. second turn, go. Command phase. Oh, no, no, actually, no, we'll do this, and then we'll go to the command phase. So first you put that back. Oh, we reveal that. Oh, yeah. It's a four, so obviously, so then you throw that back in. Oh, and this gets removed. Oops, oh. I showed it to you, didn't I? <laughs> I didn't uh, even yeah. think about that. You can just completely redraw a new one and then do your action. I'm so okay. sorry. I tried to look away. Uh, I I put it out there for you to see it. <laughs> Are you going to keep that one? Yeah. Okay, because I'll let you redraw if you yeah, want to. I'll just consider that my second. It was good enough. Okay. Um. Okay, so now, <clears throat> go. All right. He's going to make a run for it. Mm -hmm. So, one, two, three, four. four. Yep. Hmm. You know what? Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now. I like this tension because, like, the door opened and they're, like, walking and yeah. all of a sudden it's like, oh. I'm considering. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this guy back on Overwatch. You can take two shots if you want oh, first. You're right. Uh, yes. I want to take two shots first, and okay. then I'm going to put him on Overwatch. Yep, go ahead. So you roll the die. Um, your just doesn't count for sustained fire. And you got a six, nice. so you kill him. And then you can still take a shot at that guy now. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay now I'll... you can put him on Overwatch for two. Actually... I'm going to spend one action mm -hmm. and take one more shot. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. Right. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to spend one more. I'm going to take one more shot. <laughs> oh, nice. Now, since you weren't in an Overwatch, that means that... Uh, so this gets revealed for three. So one goes here. Where do you want the other two to go? Oh, I choose where they go. If if you if if you get if you reveal them, then yes. But you're almost out of time. Oh, um, let's just put them. Okay. Back there, corners. I uh, choose their facing. Put him on Overwatch. Okay. Um, I think that's two actions. Yeah, because so I only I shot twice. Mm -hmm. Oh, you only shot and twice. And then I spent these oh, two okay. for the two second okay. shots. That way, it left me with sure. two. Okay. Cool. Um. Uh, I used him three, so I'm going to use one more. That gives me two. I'm going to put him on Overwatch. Okay, it takes two actions, just so you know. For Overwatch? Yeah, well, he had one. I used oh. three actions, and he had okay. one. So I moved that okay. to make the two. So just for future reference, um, Does it... like that would be a combined thing, so that would probably be like not allowed. Could I move this well, because, two for because... to be allowed? Yeah, because like, like, the thing is you used him, then you moved to another guy. Oh, oh, but no, it's I, okay. I you're, you're learning, saying. just okay. so you know, for future reference. I should okay. have put him on Overwatch before I went to a different guy. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, That's that fine. makes sense. 
Another thing I would have considered is I almost would consider putting that guy in Overwatch too. Uh, I'm out of actions. Oh, I'm out of time. Yeah, actions. I'm just telling you like yeah, that's, that's I what I would, should yeah. have. But uh, just uh, but you you can do whatever you want to do. Okay, so I reinforce two actions. Okay, I'm gonna put one here, and I'll put one here. Put you over here, actually. Um, I'm gonna actually lurk with that guy. I'm going to not move him. I'm going to go one, two, three for you. I'm just going to fill that room. Yeah. I'm going to go one, two, three. And you know what? I'm going to wait. Um, I'm going to reveal three. So one, two, and three. Okay, so you'll go... One, two, three. So now we're going to face off. You get the one dice, I get the three. Right Five, you're dead. Uh, this guy isn't anything special, so... Uh, oh, that's my, my door breaker. Yeah. Uh, the battery died, so I'm not sure if you guys caught that last action or not, but I moved him after killing the, um, Daphne. Uh, poor Daphne. Uh, so now Fred and this Gene Stealer are lined up. So Fred has a sword, and we are face-to-face, -face, which means that Fred gets a plus one to his die roll, and he can parry, which means he can make me re-roll one of my die. Okay, so... Ooh. Bottom. So is this... So you uh, you want me to re-roll this one, right? Yeah, because if not, I'm dead, right? Yeah, let me make sure. Is parry <clears throat> that you can make a re-roll, or is it guard? Power sword... Space Marine may re-roll... Yeah, you can, yeah, so you can force me to re-roll that six. So I take it you wouldn't want me to do that? Please. <laughs> Five, so we tied, which means none of us die. So let's see, I went one, two, uh, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm out of action. So we'll go one... Oh, wait, I'll one and I'll turn. Two, three... Four, five, actually five and six. I think I can. Yeah, because you guys don't have Terminator armor. I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah. Can I turn like, is it just 90 degrees or is it, can I turn 90 degrees left or right as part of their move action? So 90 degrees. So I actually turn, that face is important because if you attack me um, and I win that combat physically, then I can't kill you, but I can turn still. Uh, okay. So I'll go one, two, because again, I can turn 90 degrees as part of my move. Three, four, five. Now I'll go one, two, three, keep this here. I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna let that guy lurk. So, um, oh, I haven't moved these guys yet. So now we're in overwatch mode. So one, you get to roll two dice to see if you Yeah, you killed me. <laughs> if you roll two sixes or two fives, if you have sustained fire, your gun still jams, but you do kill the person. So uh, okay. I'll go one, two. Oh, two. I moved into your sight, so go ahead. All right. okay. Nope. <clears throat> Three. Now that this is a sub sustained fire bonus. Four or five. No, five or six. Or five or six. Yeah, which okay. is a six, which you killed me. Okay, so... I think I one, over two, protected my back and under protected maybe. my front. So there you go. I moved into your line of sight. Miss. Nope. Three. Oh. Four. Uh, oh. There we go. Yeah, I definitely overprotected my back and left my front vulnerable. Well, we'll see though, because like, uh, yep. Oh, well, you learn. Yep. Okay, so this is the um, command phase. So these tokens are removed. Uh, your bonus round token, you can oh. reveal it to the four, I take it? Yeah, four. Okay. Four Perfect. and had it on three. So this was a bit of a hard one because you lost Daphne, but your flame are still in the fight. So uh, go ahead and uh, you can choose a new, choose oh, a yeah. new um, thing. And uh, we will get let's back see. to it here. And let's see, which one is this? Is that it? Oh, <laughs>
Nope. I didn't see I'm, it. I'm throwing it back. Just for the record, I didn't see it, but I'm like, what well, am I, I doing? I it was one of those. I couldn't tell if it was a two or a five, so I was comparing it. <laughs> it was a two. This so. would be easier if we weren't sitting next to each other, but we don't got any choice right now. So. Let's see. Okay, I'll take this one. Okay. That one was I did bad. not see what it was, but yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. okay, so now you ready? Yep. All right. So Fred's going to attack that first one. Okay. So I get three, you get one, and then... You're, you get plus one, and then you parry. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, I think you're dead either way. Great. <laughs> you might have done better to... You know what? We're going to... Since Chris has never played this game before, we're going to take the time loss. Why don't you shoot me instead? Oh, is that not what I was doing? You were... You said... Did you say attack? Attack. You said attack. I thought you oh. meant physical. My bad. No, shoot me. Just use your two guns, because, like, yeah, there's no point in... Okay, okay, yeah. Let me... Okay. I didn't think about whether there was a difference or not. I know, guys. I'm willing to, like, um, well, okay, so I just need to know if you can shoot somebody that's directly in front uh, of you. Okay. Um, On the same. Yeah, so I think that's enough time that I've given back to you. If I get this wrong, I'm sorry, but to me, it just makes sense that you can shoot at me. So okay. if you're going to shoot me, you roll two dice, try okay, to yeah. six. So I'll one action. Yeah, yeah, there's no, it would be risky. Yeah. Two fives. It doesn't jam your gun because you're not an Overwatch, but you don't kill me either. Okay. So you get to roll again. Now, if you roll five, um, six. So you kill okay. him. Here, I'll just move this guy and push him back. There we go. All right, then I'll go ahead and so so that's two, two attacks. Two attacks, yep. Shoot the next guy. Nope. All right, so this will be my last action. Yep. <clears throat> and that's a hit. <laughs> Man, talk about suspense. <laughs> All right, so that was my last on him. Oh, oh, am I out of time already? No, you know I think. Did I we forget to flip way. it? I think I flipped it the wrong way. <laughs> I looked. I was looked over. I was like, wait a minute. There's, there's, no, there's way. no way. Yeah, I took that, that was long. three dice rolls. Okay, um, I'm gonna move I'm him. <laughs> so you have to use bonus actions, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna use two bonus actions and put him on Overwatch. Okay. Um. I'm gonna. Mm, all right, so it'll be one, two, three. Mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna put. Let's see. Yeah, I'm done with those. Then I'm gonna put him on Overwatch. Hmm. Yeah, I think that'll do it for now. Okay. Okay. So, see, you wouldn't have taken up enough time to make it worth. Oh, and that was a. Five. Very nice. I thought about using it. To oh, you didn't have to, No, you shouldn't have revealed it yet. All right. Oh, it's my turn. Ignore that. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, reinforce. Um, so. Okay. I don't even know what I have yet. Okay. I'll put one here. And we'll put one here. So first we'll go one, two. So you get to shoot at me since you're on overwatch mode. All right. So your gun jams. Cool. You just got jammed. <laughs> okay, and we get to fight now. We have to talk to the Mechanicus whenever I get back to the ship. That's not good. Oh no! You cut me down. If I take it, you don't want me to reroll. <laughs> uh, I'm okay with this outcome. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to reveal two gene stealers from this one. So we'll go one, and then we'll push you. I can't reveal into your line of sight. If I did that before, I apologize. But we'll go one. Now you can spend an action to unjam your gun. Yes. So now you're back on Overwatch. So... I, do I have to wait for you to move one more yep. time before? Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, now, now it's I two. Can shoot. Yep. Okay. Nope. Nope. Uh, three, so I'm out of your line of sight. Uh, oh, so you can break Four. it. Four. Yep, angle. so now it's back to that. Yep. Good move. I wasn't thinking about that. I was like, wait a minute. Okay, <laughs> now we're going to swing. So let's see. I was, hold on, let's go. One, two, three, four. So. Okay, so you probably want me to reroll that four, because there's a chance you'll survive. Yes. 
Do you get a plus one to your attack? Oh, Fred just died. Crud. That's not good. See, so I went one, two, three, four, and I'm going to go... Uh, it takes two to go backwards. Uh, you know Could what? you spin to the right, then go diagonal? No, I, wait, I went one, two, three, four, five, because I attacked you. I'll just go up in your face. Six. <laughs> and we'll go one, two, three, four, and I'll just do that. Then I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. So. And then, hold on, I'm, um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and bring this guy out. One, two, three. I'll keep you there. And then I'll go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll go. It's a lot of blips. One, yeah. <laughs> two. Wait, one, two. Three, four. I'll just stick right there for now. Hmm. What's the uh, the radius on when you fire the flamer? Okay. Uh, so it's tiles. Um. So like, I am currently in your tile, which means your flamer would affect your tile. You have to have line of sight. So if you hit here, it would be everybody in this tile. Can I shoot past him? No, figures block so. line of sight. So. Uh, and the only option you really have is to punch me, but that's really not a good option right now because. So we're going to do we're we're going to go to clean up here. So this goes back in here. That uh, we we know that's a five oh, already. Right. So that is going to go back into your thing. Oh. All right. And I'm looking away. This. Nope. We're gonna throw that one back and try again. Oh, you can't! I killed yeah. your sergeant. Oh, so go ahead and look I, through and I know which one it was. I, I apologize. I forgot about that. Yep, that's um, fine. That's fine. That's um, <laughs> um, yeah, I forgot the sergeant was the reason I could do that. Okay, <clears throat> uh, if, if we come across this, I'll look it up. I think the blips are meant to be finite, but I'm not sure. Huh? You have your thing drawn, um, so the so now we're going to start. All right, so we'll put this here. Going um, backwards is two. Yep. So we're gonna go two, four. Um, if you want to get right. him out of the way, because like, the only thing is you can't go here. Oh, unless you're trying to get here, and then I see what you're trying to do. Yeah. Then I'm gonna back him up. Mm -hmm. Two, four, and then it's two actions. Two actions to okay. So, so if you use your flamer here, like drop it here for like you're hitting this square. Yep. Um. Okay, now I actually do have to check the rules because technically that's two different tiles. Heavy flamers affect the entire board section. They be they a single section of corridor, one square long, or the entire room. When a flamer shoots a square or a model, first place the marker in the middle of the section the target occupies, then roll the dice for okay. Um, so I think you're supposed to contain that. You can fire more than one. Uh, you can fire it more. At, Oh, more than one out of section. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Again, if I'm wrong, guys, I apologize because this is kind of like straddling two lines, but I think you he's in this section. So, uh, you roll the die, and if you roll anything but a one, he's dead. So, roll one and anything but a one, he's... So, six. He's dead. Nice. So, here's so the cool thing. How long does that status effect last? Until I start removing markers. So, at the end of my turn. Okay. Oh, so you can't even get. Mm -hmm. So you want me? You want to? So that's four actions there, or you use two. Okay. So do you want to do anything with that guy before your time runs out? Um, I'm just gonna put him back on Overwatch. That's smart. And then, yep, I think that's it. Okay. Um. So I get to reinforce here. So we'll go here, and we'll go here. Um, so I'm going to go one, because these things don't have a facing, and then I'll go up here, two, oh, that's one, um, and then I'll go one, two, three, because I'm trying to keep things off of tiles, <laughs> separated by tiles here, <laughs> um, and then we'll go 
one, two, three, four, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, just for fun. Okay, um, we'll reveal this. That's one guy. And then I'll go one. And I'm going to shoot at him. Yep. Oof. Really? Well, the thing is, you killed him. Yeah. Your gun jams, but there's nobody else for you to shoot yeah, at. Yeah, so, so at that point... It's, it's not the end of the world, so yeah. you critically jammed there. Sure you don't want to send any guys into that corridor? I'm positive. <laughs> okay. I think that's about all I can do right now, so... Uh, You've managed to buy yourself a little bit of time here. So now we remove the tokens and remove the flame. We're going to put the flame over here to show that it has been That's used. Expensive. Okay. You have five shots left. Now, now I throw this back, right? Yep. And right. It was a two. two. I figured it was one or two because of your reaction, so. All right. And all right. Oh, sorry. I needed to train myself to look over. Okay, you ready? No, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's what I think I'm going to do. I take this guy. That'd be one, two, and then can I turn 180, or would that be two actions? That's two actions. It would, if I think at this point, I'd be better off to just go two, four. Mm -hmm. You already moved him, so you're going to use bonus that, actions. That's right. Yep. Um, do I want to do that? Yeah, I do. Um... Oh, the flame came down. When the flame came down, that accidentally revealed this as one. I forgot about that. So. Uh, okay. So, I think uh, I've used him one, two. So, I think moving backwards would be four. Then I'm going to spin one to spin him around. Okay, and you can shoot. Oh, I can. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to shoot at that dude. Nope. All right. Um, then I'm going to spin two to put him on Overwatch. And then I'm done with him. I'm going to put him on Overwatch. And I think I'll be done. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do, oh, first of all, reinforce. He's, he was lurking here. I should have moved Man, with, uh, with the Gene Stealers, it's really just a war of attrition. It's just throw mm -hmm. bodies at them mm -hmm. until you overwhelm them. So we'll do, you know what, I think since you're back there, this is probably my best option. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one, and then I'll go, you know what, I'm going to do this. I'm going to, let me see, what's the last time they do I have? Okay, so I'll go one, two, here, one, two, three, four, five. I'll just do that, and then so you don't have line of sight because because he's blocking your line of sight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we'll just go. So many blips. Yeah. Uh, and then we're gonna go one, two, one, two, three. Four, and then one, two, three, four, five. And I think that's going to be it. All right. So you flip that over to reveal that right. you four. Okay, so you put it back in the bag. Tell me when you're done. All right, shake her up. <clears throat> Let's see what I get. All right. Oh yeah, that's right. You don't have a choice. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, let Fred die. You let Fred die. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Here goes nothing. All right. I move him up. One, two, three. Yeah, let's go ahead and go with four. Oh, before I touch anything else, I'm gonna spin two. I'm gonna put him on Overwatch. Okay. All right, then I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Then I'll put him on Overwatch. Let's see. Yeah, I think that'll do it. 
can't really shoot at anything right now. <laughs> okay, well, I get reinforcements. Honestly, at this point, if I can make it to the door, to that door, I'll, I'll consider I, I, you know, I did halfway decent for my first time. I'll put you here, because I need to keep pressure on that side. I need crit pressure on the rear, Chris. <laughs> Let's re... Oh, you know what? I can't reveal any of your line of sight. I might have made that mistake earlier. Wait, so does that mean... Can well, you convert those to gene stealers, then move them into my line of sight? Yes. Okay. So I'll convert this one into gene stealers first, then. You know what? Let's get some of these bigger guys, because maybe that's my problem. <laughs> so... So then we'll go um, one. You get to shoot. Oh, right away. Holy cow. One, two. Man. I should, I mean, you know, the problem is they're a bigger target. That's yeah, why there it is. <laughs> one, two. All right. And Valma there is on fire. Ah. Three. Come on. <sighs> yes. Not a single that jam. dude needs to be leading the charge. That was my right. problem. Yeah, Velma. Velma's your right. We need to put a mark on the base of that one so I know for next time. That, yeah. That's my lead guy. Oh, I can mark him. <laughs> well, this guy's skulls. So we'll go one. Man, this guy's gonna have to reload soon. <laughs> Why couldn't I ever do this one, when we were playing two. Pathfinder? I know, right? Double ones. Come on, it's time. Okay. So I was here. I believe so. One, two, three. One, two. Wait, where? Oh, right there. I'm doing the Russian, like, World War II strategy here. Oh, come on. Man. I was going to close the door. That was my strategy. It's <laughs> so like, like, mm, uh. Uh, Okay. Little One, dudes on two, fire. Three, four. Go ahead, reveal me. I can't. <laughs> do that. Um, okay. Well, one, two. Uh, is that that is Overwatch? Did you get to activate your Overwatch okay. before? Uh, before see Shaggy, Andy. Fred, Daphne, and <sighs> <laughs> okay. So let's see. Daphne and Fred have died, yep. and that's Scooby. Yeah, so man. that's Velma and that's Shaggy. Yeah, Velma and Shaggy are holding it down. <laughs> okay, well I'll reveal this one, which is one. It'll come from the floor. One. Two, three, four. Come on. Ah, Finally. So, so now are we doing... Melee. Melee, okay. See, I went, hold on. One, two, three, so... All right. Uh, so that's a three. Crud. <laughs> I'm dead, aren't I? Yep, there goes Shaggy. <laughs> so let's see, um... One, two, three, four, five. This could be it. Oh, it's not oh, it. Crud. Scooby came through for you. I rolled three <laughs> ones. You punched him. So the oh. nice thing about that is that he's not an Overwatch. So we'll go one, wait, one, two, three, four, five, and I'll attack you. I got a six, you got a five. And that means Scooby dies. Game over. <laughs> Can he fire the flamer as he falls? <laughs> Go out in the That's blaze. fine. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, you know, died with honor. Took yeah. one out with him. Yeah, that's fine. I'll give you that. Because you fought admirably at the end. Like, Can, can Velma run back to the ship? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Velma's just like, I'm yeah, done. Like, well, Velma will live over. to fight another day. I'm going to put a V on the bottom Here. of her base and that I... Yeah. Spaceship's taken off. <laughs> <laughs> so unfortunately, uh, that looks like the gene, the gene stealers were able to get to the escape pods, and some of them escaped. You know, 
It happens. Okay. Let's see she, yeah. It happens. <laughs> there are only billions and trillions of people, so. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, what's, what's a few worlds when there's billions? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was uh, one of the introductory missions to Space Hulk. Um, well, you are much more of a Warhammer 40K fan than I am, so what did you think of it? I The attention to detail was great. Just especially like it's like they're wearing Terminator power armor and the fact that you can only see in a cone where, you know, mm -hmm. like in the lore, you, there's a very limited field of view because of the armor. Yeah. And just, yeah, the, the mechanics, the, the timer, you know, it gives you a little anxiety. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine uh, <laughs> like uh, that, that sounds like you're like, oh, man, you got to you got to act fast. Yeah. So you don't have it's you don't have time to just sit there and think and plan mm -hmm. out. No, you. You have to act, and yeah, I liked it. Uh, I liked it enough. I think I might get the video game version. <laughs> yeah, you don't <laughs> want to spend the four hundred four hundred dollars on getting. No, no, I was lucky. I bought this. Um, actually, it was on sale at a game store. They were trying to clear out this final copy. I guess they couldn't sell it, and I was lucky enough to get it years and years ago. And this is the first time I played it. This is in my collection for uh, ten years, and I've always wanted to play it. And just never had the opportunity to until today, and I, I love this game. I think I'd be happy with either faction, either be either side. Oh of yeah, this. I think either side would be yeah. equally as fun. Yeah. So uh, okay, um, but when he was talking about the details, these things are not only cut; they're stamped. So it's like the squares all have divots. There's bullet holes that have like dents, oh, yeah, and there's... I'm like, that's just a crazy amount of machine. Like I mean, just oh, like yeah, and... the production, the production quality through the roof. The miniatures, I'm sure that they're not like. As good as the actual 40k miniatures, but they're just below. They're them. they're really good. Like each yeah. of the Space Marines, uh, each one is different, and the detail mm -hmm. is. That's why we're able to name them because they're all different. So oh yeah, we'll have to name. I mean, obviously Velma's was going to come back. Right. We'll have to name. Uh, we'll have to name them the next time too. Um, and then, like you were saying, uh, one of these there was a bunch of brass shell casings and each one was textured where if you you run your mm -hmm. finger over all the it. doors are different the the the, oh, yeah. the tiles are different too because again the lore is these ships are all crunched together so these were different ships and hallways and stuff so um what do you think about the uh the blip system that's cool because like yeah. you're saying in like one you would one <laughs> one <laughs> one well so i was over here panicking three well. and then do so right. i mean you were actually it, it looked worse than what it was for yeah. you so no, i do think the blip system is really cool because like you're saying like the space marines they have built in you know a hud and their mm -hmm. helmet and they have radar and that's a cool way of you know translating it to a board game mm -hmm. and the idea is you don't know what you're fighting that's another yeah thing you just that's know that great. there's enemies and the way you, the way you can use these guys for a line of sight movement is just great too so uh, yeah, I, I'm. I love this game. I, I, I really do. I, I'm looking forward to playing it again. Uh, so uh, we will see how that goes. Um, we might do another board game match with the round table version of it, or uh, in the future, our plan is to do some live streams. And this might be one of the games we live stream until we've played all the scenarios at least once. And we'll, we'll, oh, have, yeah. a, we'll have a tracker and we'll see if right. anybody makes it to the end because we'll keep naming our guys. And <laughs> when they survive, we'll, we'll mark them somehow and know that right. that's, that's the person who survived. <laughs> um, but uh, is there anything else you'd like to... What, what do you think about this system here? Like, using these special movements? Yeah, I do like that. Oh, it's... I like that because that's information I don't have. So yeah, it's exactly. like I'm speculating on, do you have enough? Like, if you, um, like yeah. if you're gun jammed and you've used a couple of those actions, I'm like, you, he has, does he have enough actions to un yeah, Like, is that, risk the, is that worth the push or not? Yeah, I feel like this kind of equals out the blips because the blips is information you have that I don't know. I don't know if that's... Yeah. Yep. You know, how many Dean Stillers are over there <laughs> and, you know, I feel like it equals out you having the, the blip system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so for our first time, I think that was a lot of fun. Um, oh, yeah. I'm sure we both made a lot of strategic mistakes, but that's part of the fun about playing a new board game is you don't know how to play it and you just got to take time to learn it. I think by the end of this, by, by the time we're done with all the scenarios, We'll both oh, probably be sure. really proficient at knowing like how to play and stuff. So yeah, the the timer won't be nearly as menacing, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, until next time. Thank you so much for watching. So uh, until next time, take the initiative and roll out. And what's a uh, 
What's a Warhammer 40k saying? Um, if it was Battletech, I'd say no guts, no galaxy. For the Emperor? Yeah. <laughs> well, you can say that. Oh, yeah, you can. You're, you're, the, you're, you're, the, the, you're the human scum. Right. Um, I'm the STD, okay? <laughs> See, what would yours be? Something for the... You uh, can say for the Emperor, that's fine. So. Just go ahead. Yeah. For the Emperor. <laughs> I'm going to keep that in. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>